what we have here is a outstanding multi-nodal transit center in Dover, New Hampshire, where I'll be taking an Amtrak to Boston before too long. That's the old station. It actually has volunteers, elderly guys that sit around and talk railroad lore and keep an eye on the place and help you figure out how to make your ticket and everything else. This funny multi-story industrial building, my brother tells me, was the birthplace of Clorox. And then we have this trail with an interesting kiosk and a wealth of detail. It's a rail trail, essentially intending to run all the way up to I think the border is Summersworth, or western edge of Dover. And we're at just a small portion of it where it crosses the Chicho River. They've done a nice job. They kind of explain the origins of the rail line and such. They give you a good sense of the living world tree elements here. Some interesting anecdotes. This particular kiosk offers a shady bench. All in all, it's about as impressive as one can expect it to be. Decent trail signage. project of the city of Dover, New Hampshire. And we'll just get a sense of this little segment of it. Up there you see the old railroad bridge now rendered into a trail. That'll be our next stop. As you can see, it's new work, done in the past 10 years. Very nice quality, very thoughtful. And looking back here at the station, they even give you an overview, an overlook platform. It's another Goldfinches are eagerly making their case for romance. That's the Cochicho River below. It eventually makes its way to the Great Bay. Hampshire's more unique coastal features for a state that has a relatively small section of the Atlantic coast. We're overlooking downtown Dover. sense of it all. Here's the actual railroad bridge which takes you 
back to Boston. It's like someone's bobber stuck in the tree too. And this system offers trail access to spots along the river down below as well. It's another trail system down there. See the overhanging trees. Pretty pronounced bit of terracing. It's quite a drop down there. There's one access way. Down to the floodplain. Some amazingly tall trees here. I notice the relative absence of railing here. This would be a terrible place to try to pedal drunk at night. There's no real lighting. And if you fuck up, you're gonna go ass over kettle down a incredibly steep embankment slope. It's like moderately life-threatening. But I suppose it's nice to know there are parts of America still left that don't make every decision based on liability anxiety. Yeah, particularly here, like, look out. <laughs> Nothing. Looks like there's some cool trail constructions below. <laughs> they all granite down there to demarc a trail. To I haven't seen fit to do some similar thing here. And your more congenial access to the floodplain forest will be found right here. And this is very good quality work as well. Look at that stairwell. All in all, there's plenty of evidence that the citizens of New Hampshire are enthused about imaginative ways to create public spaces serve their natural resources. The trail will continue down towards that fence where there's like a little odd maze thing you run through. And we won't hit that now. I'm sure I'll be back in Dover again. This at least gives you a sense of the place and I'm back to wait on a train. <laughs>